What's up, man? It's your boy Rostin the Butcher Man here, kicking it with my homie LRP TV, man. You already know what it is. Down the Sterling on the way, December 15th. You are now watching LRP TV. Rostin the Butcher Man. It's a young cat man from the north side of the city, man, 27th Street, 27th Madison to be exact, born and raised, man. Just doing this music, man. Trying to get in the game and do what I do. I've been rapping since I was probably like eight, you know what I'm saying? Me and my, my main man, Coons Dunn, shout out to my baby Coons Dunn too, man. Been rapping since I was like eight. I remember first time we started rapping, we was um, over Coons crib or whatever, in Coons room. He had bunk beds in his room or whatever. And um, me, Coon, and um, the boy Chris too, Gouda too. Shout out to my baby Gouda. We um, we was sitting in there, man, and we was just had a sleepover one night. He was like, Yo, you know what? Let's just let's just rap. You know what I'm saying? So we come up with the best rap or whatever, and we rapped or whatever, and we judged and everything. And I won. <laughs> I won, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing like that. You that's cool and them too, but I won it ever since then, man. You know, me and Coon kinda we bump heads and start just making music, man. We just start rapping, man. Came out and did some music together when we was young. Put a mixtape out, man. Shout out to Tone, that was our manager back in the day too, man. And um just been dealing with it ever since, man, you know. Um, my brother actually, you know what I'm saying, my older brother, um, we were sitting in the house one day, you um, know, he had, uh, you know, you, like the Radio Raheem boxes, the old, old school big radios, he had that, and that's when PlayStation 1 had first came out, and he hooked up PlayStation 1 to the radio box, and back then, you can, you can put beats on the PlayStation 1, or whatever, so he, um, he put the beats on or whatever, and, you know, we was in, you know, our living room, we was bopping or whatever, and. I just started writing, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really take it serious for the most part. I ain't really take it too serious. And then my brother was just was like, yo, you know, once he heard it, he was like, yo, you need to really start doing this. So if I mean to keep it honest, man, shout out to my brother Earl too. If, if it wasn't for him, I don't really think I would be rapping for real, for real. Because once once he 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 heard me and he seen me doing it, it was like he would start making me do it. You know, like every day it'd be repetitive, he'd put it on, he'd be like, yo, right. And I'm like, no, I don't want to write. He's like, nah, write. And he just force it and force it and force it. And I, I thank him for that because, like I said, if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't even be doing the music, man. You know what I'm saying? And over the years, just going through different life experiences, you know, I kind of incorporated them into my music. You know what I'm saying? That's why I think for me, my music is is more authentic than than most people. I'm not, there's no diss or no taking shots or nothing, no bar or nothing, but, you know, if you ask about a certain situation or, you know what I'm saying, a, a certain part in my music, you hear it and you say, oh, well, well, what happened when, you know, about Ross getting robbed or whatever, and the remember joint, you feel what I'm saying? If you ask somebody, like, oh, man, that's, that's the joint that happened when um, he took a ride up Chester or whatever, and boom, 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 you feel what I'm saying? So I don't I don't never fabricate nothing or kind of be something that I'm not in my music. I'm, I'm who I am, you know what I mean? I'm comfortable in my own skin. I don't try to be, you know, something that I'm not. I'm who I am, you know what I'm saying? Hate it or love it, I'm me. Success to me, man, is just, you know, uh, making sure my kids is straight, um, you know, making sure my girl is straight at the end of the day, um, and hopefully, you know, taking off with this music, man, you know what I'm saying? It's my, my first love, my passion, you know what I'm saying? And I, I take my craft seriously, so, you know, if I can get on that big screen and, uh, you know, tell my story, and my story can touch somebody else, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody has a story, you, you understand what I'm saying? You might have a story that you're saying about, it might be a particular situation where you grew up with roaches and you grew up with rats and, you know what I'm saying? Your mom was, you know, a junkie or a smoker or, you know, she ran the street and she, she sold her, you know, sold her ass or something, or, you know what I mean? 
Now, if I was to, you know, say that, my mom ain't never do nothing that, but you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm a victim of, you know, living with the roaches and the mouses and all that, grew up with that on 27th Street, whatever, like, real shit, you feel what I'm saying, wake up in the middle of the night, go to the bathroom, roaches scattered everywhere, go downstairs, shit all on the walls and the cereal, rats and roaches, all that shit running, honest, that's why you hear that shit in my music, like, you know what I'm saying, on the, on the, um, what's the joint we shot down, uh, Riverside, uh, the untouchable joint, you know what I'm saying? Had to sleep with scullies and hoodies and all that, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So, to me, with success, that would be, you know what I'm saying, for somebody else to hear that and be like, oh shit, man, I ain't, I ain't the only one that went through that, you know what I'm saying? And the same, if they run into me, be like, yo, man, you know, I heard that, that joint, man, you know, I thought it was just me. And I'm like, nah, dog, I went through that shit too. So, you know, it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? It's part of life, you know what I'm saying? The growth is getting out of that situation and making sure your kids don't go through that same shit that you went through. You feel what I'm saying? They don't. You, you make sure that they don't see no roses, they don't see no rats. You understand what I'm saying? You make sure that they, they dress top to bottom and they got the fly shit on. And I, 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 I ain't grow up like that, you feel what I'm saying? My mom bust her ass, she worked three jobs and dogs she did and made sure that we had what we had but at the end of the day. You know, it still was a struggle, you feel what I'm saying? Nothing was ever given, you know what I'm saying? Everything was earned. And if you come around her flashing, I'm a fucking rap. Yeah, put them bitches on you, make you think you're getting pussy. Yeah, I'm so close to the edge. Niggas don't. I mean, I mean, my main goal is, like I said, man, just um, just to get my story out there and just let everybody know who Ross Thing the Butcher is. I mean, Wilmington is it, it's small, you know what I'm saying? So you can't, I mean, you can go without being heard, but. Only for so long because, you know, real recognize real. So eventually, you know what I'm saying, when real comes together, everybody going to grab to Rothstein the Butcher like, damn, who was that? And when they see who I am, the name is catchy alone. You understand what I'm saying? When they see me, they're going to like, oh, shit, I remember him. You know what I mean? From 27th Street or whatever. And for people who don't, you know what I'm saying, you're going to get to know me real soon, man. Shout out to this Donald Sterling mixtape that's about to drop December 15th, man. Make sure y'all pick that up, man. I'm going to have hard copies, and you can get it on datpiff.com. Everything for free and all that. Hard copies, $5. They ain't about nothing. You know what I'm saying? You spend that on Sunday eat. So you can definitely get at me for that, man. But other than that, man, you know, I'm moving through these streets, man. I'm doing what I do, man. I'm trying to make it like the rest. Everybody else is trying to make it. You know what I'm saying? I take my craft serious. I don't be going in the studio get, doing 30 takes. You know what I'm saying? To record a song, I go in and record five, six songs in the air and knock them out, man, because I take my craft serious, man. And I'm willing to work with anybody, too. A lot of y'all niggas be on here, man. Y'all be saying, oh, I don't really work with niggas and I ain't doing all that. Man, listen, man, if you take your craft serious, dog, and you want to link and network, man, and rock, man, get at me, man. I'm on Facebook at Roasting the Butcher, man. That's who I am. You know what I'm saying? I ain't charging for verses and all that Hollywood shit that niggas be on. Oh, I need to charge for my verse. I ain't with all that, man. I'm willing to work. If you take your craft serious, like I take my craft serious, we can work, man. Just make music, man. Shout out to everybody who's working and doing their thing, man. You know what it is, man. Ross the Butcher, man. Shout out to my baby, LRP TV. We're doing this interview. Now we're going to get into this video right now. That who you think you are, Jank. You know what I'm saying? Coming this week or next week, too. Look at it, man. It's your boy, Ross the Butcher.